One day, a strange object landed in McDonald Land. Look! A silver flower pot. Oh, that's no flower pot, Grimace. Who's there? Hi, ho, Earth people. Cosmic here. I popped in from outer space on a trade mission. Trade? Okay. I'll take this and trade you that. I get it. Trade. Okay. Ah, Jesus, he's fast. There's a lingering dread watching this scene, almost as if Ronald is ready to incapacitate him at any time if need be. Hey, I'll take this and trade you that. <laughs> Boy, he moves fast. How about joining us in a picnic? I've got the McDonald's cheeseburgers, fries, and shakes. All right, trade you these for the lunch. Bye-bye. What was Ronald to do? Yeah, what? I'll save our lunch with my McMagnet. Hell, he already had the McMagnet like he knew this day would come. It's almost like Ronald had to face off against Cosmic in the past. Cosmic couldn't hide. He was pulled by Ronald's McMagnet. What do you say we share? Now you've got the idea. Deliciously awesome! I've got to tell my people about McDonald's cheeseburgers later, dude! So Cosmic took off. Wow, what an incredible experience! Oh, right. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. Being from the U.S., I feel like it's my duty to cover the all-new chain from the absolute titan that is McDonald's. But before we get into the brick and mortar, what is a Cosmic, or better yet, who is a cosmic? And sadly, I have to inform you that it's not a little Debbie treat that makes you feel so bad when you eat it. Ooh, I'm so bad. Ooh. Ooh, I'm so bad. According to the official 1992 Ronald McDonald and Friends specification manual, Cosmic is a six-armed outer space alien who's part vehicle, part creature, and I'm paraphrasing. He's just a silly little guy being fun-loving and wacky with a bit of a cultural barrier due to being from the stars. He takes human metaphors seriously and has to be straightened out by Ronald in most cases, but that straightening out usually doesn't stick. He needs to be shown in active situations and has a hip mixture of earth slang and weird electronic sound. From what I found, he was introduced in 1986 and was used until 1992. They also make a point to say that Ronald and the others enjoy his company like they're doing damage control. Yeah, I promise you guys, they love Cosmic. I promise you, they love him. See, look at their smiles. <laughs> also, at the end, I thought it was pretty funny. Cosmic should be having fun, even if he's causing problems for somebody else. Can't wait for the docuseries to come out about how bad it was working with Cosmic on set. Yeah, he just couldn't keep his hands to himself, you know. Always taking stuff from my trailers and flying away. Damn birdie has a restraining order put out on him. Poor bird. Jokes aside for a minute, McDonald's has decided to try and venture into the beverage-led market with a drive through only chain known as Cosmics. The first location is opened in Bolingbrook, Illinois, and beverages it certainly has. With a stat cast of over 40, 43 to be exact, including shakes, customization options include things like boba, syrup, and vitamin shots. I was interested in trying to find some of the price points for these drinks, but I weirdly couldn't find a whole bunch of information. A lot of the menuing and everything that's online currently has zeros like placeholders for most of their drinks but due to reddit and tiktok i've been able to find some of the prices right here this picture comes from the tiktoker snackalator and the drinks do seem to range from about 249 to 539 for the medium drinks largest probably being around 450 to 750 which is just speculation on my part a boba add-on will run you about 379 and energy shots are 99 cents I personally don't believe this type of menu is for me. I am 23 with terrible spending habits, but I'm not sure I could justify paying $5.39 for a slush of any kind when that good ass alligator ice exists at gas stations. God, I love that fucking alligator ice. Look at that. Look at it. And honestly, it's probably best to steer clear of these drinks in general because something like the medium island pick me up punch is going to be running you about 74 grams of sugar. Or even like the large tropical spice aid is going to be slapping you in the face with 110 grams of sugar, which for comparison is 7.3 tablespoons of sugar. That is an insane amount of sugar. I'm not trying to like fear monger you with like measurements and shit. Take 7 table, 7.3 tablespoons of sugar right now and try and justify that going into your body. And I know I'm not like a fitness idol or anything by any means. But that is a lot of sugar to be putting inside of your body. Sugary drinks aside, uh, most of their sandwiches seem to be just step-ups from their McMuffins. Cosmics offers both a spicy queso sandwich as well as a creamy avocado tomatillo sandwich. And they both look pretty good, but like I said, it, it kind of just looks like a step-up from a McMuffin. 
Uh, most of the reviews that I've seen online are just people who enjoy it but aren't absolutely raving over it. It just seems a bit like normal breakfast sandwiches to me, like something you'd maybe get at like a Wendy's or something, something that's a little higher quality. Uh, they also serve things like cookies, brownies, McFlurries, and sundaes as well. Nothing really astounding except for the blueberry lemon cookie sundae. That looks pretty good, I have to be honest. I do also hope that they'll be able to keep their ice cream machines running for these places if they choose to expand, because uh, we already know how McDonald's is with their ice cream machines. Uh, y'all ice cream machine working? Yes, it is. <gasps> oh, God is to the point where I don't think I've even gotten ice cream from McDonald's in years. I was wondering where some more locations may be popping up and one of the only articles I was able to find was from AS written by Karina Gonzalez stating that they were planning to open 10 more stores in the Dallas, Fort Worth, and San Antonio metropolitan areas. It seems like my little East Coast self won't be trying it anytime soon. So honestly, what do you think? cosmic soon be all over the u.s or do you think the price point for the food available will make it fail i personally believe places like starbucks and duncan already have such a grip on the consumers for this type of market that it will be very hard to pull them away without some huge gimmick and uh, it doesn't seem like mcdonald's really has that gimmick just yet um maybe they're trying to cater towards uh the that group of people who can't really afford Starbucks, but want to feel a little bit higher than something like Duncan, which I, I can't even talk much on Duncan because I've, I don't think I've ever been in all honesty. I've heard not so great things about their coffee, so I've never went out and actually tried it. I'm sure that a few times like my office manager has gotten us donuts from Duncan or something like that, but it's literally nothing that I can think and recall and without having a gimmick of any kind to pull i really don't know if mcdonald's will be able to find the footing in this market like they're hoping to but i'm not the business major so who really knows like i said mcdonald's is such a titan i'm sure that they'll figure out some way to grip that market that they're looking for who really knows besides the all-powerful extraterrestrial himself cosmic Thank you guys so much for watching this little video about Cosmics. Um, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, I greatly appreciate the love and support that was shown on the last video. That's quite literally my highest rated video I've ever posted. So I'm very glad that you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad to see that it's actually getting watched and everything. So um, yeah, if you guys have an idea for anything else that you'd like to see from me, just let me know. I try and respond to most comments. I got links to Discord in my bio, but it's not really set up yet. Don't have a lot going on in there, but you can join if you'd like to. Um, I also have my Twitch linked in the description below. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.